Okay, I wanted to do a video on our label designer. Uh, as you know, label connector uh, for QuickBooks from AccuWare can print la labels rapidly for you using various types of orders uh, or the items list and or the receipts uh, screen. Um, but uh, before you can actually get going with printing, you need to design a label to be used um, and lay that out you know, for your label material. So we'll go through that quickly here on how to use the label designer. Um, when you open that up, obviously we want to make a new design. You need to select the type of transaction in QuickBooks that you're going to want to use. So um, there's different modes, uh, there's different data available depending on the different types of orders or screens we're using to source the data for your label. So uh, most people kind of have an intended screen in QuickBooks that they'd like to use uh, to rapidly pull data to print labels. So let's use sales orders in this example. Um, you need to put in the dimensions of your label material and you'll need to get that uh, dimension also entered into the printer properties in your thermal printer and we do require a thermal printer for use with label connectors. So uh, generally the best place to add this setting in your printer driver is under printer properties go to the advanced tab and then go to the printing defaults um, button and there's a, a page setup there where you should put in the the width and the length of your material the width is usually the 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 width across the perforation and the height is how much label material will feed out if one label feeds so anyway so we'll do a four by three example here uh, we're going to go through adding text, barcodes, and images, and do test prints. So uh, let's start off with adding a text field here. Just click onto the label anywhere you'd like. Uh, the most important concept to understand is the data source. I'm going to go back into that, but give the field name like, you know, text field. We'll call it text1 for now to start with. Um, you need to select the data source from QuickBooks where you want the data to come from. In this case, uh, we'll use the item as as the uh, data to go to this place when we print, okay? Um, again, there's a whole long list here of uh, different data elements. Um, you can also use the uh, custom item fields um, in QuickBooks. If you press the synchronize button in our designer one time, then your custom item fields will appear down here. You can do various types of quantities. Um, you can do the quantity onto the label. You can make that quantity on the label be equal to the amount of labels printed or the order quantity. Lots of things that can be done. Uh, we can support you in trying to get some of those things figured out at AccuWare. Uh, but you can see, we, again, quite a, a, an array of data sources available for printing labels. Um, you usually have to put in some sort of like example data. This just helps you with sizing your font and locating the field. Usually I'd recommend putting in the number of digits equal to like how long, in this case, how long your item number is. So let's just go ahead and just save that, get that placed on the label. Again, if it's not perfectly placed, you can move it around. It's drag and drop. Um, let's just, I want to show you the description field because that's a common request as well. Um, if you select the description field for you, use, uh, we'll just give it a nickname here. Um, you know, you, you, you can paste in some data from one of your items. Um, let's just get some data in here. Okay. Um, so we get that data typed in. Now you can, you can word wrap. Uh, you don't have to word wrap, but if you want to word wrap the data to control when it'll start a new line, you can do that. Um, and that's a common thing that people might want to do to squeeze that description data into a place on the label. So I intentionally made it wrap a little early so you could see the wrapping feature here. So you can right click and edit any field and then I can extend that word wrapping. Uh, let's see if that, yeah, so that shows you that it can, and, and we're using the same word wrapping type of um, methodology that Excel uses or most common programs for word wrapping. Again, you don't have to wrap your description text. Um, and then let's add a barcode. Um, in this case, maybe we'll choose the actual sales order number uh, as the uh, data to go into the barcode, okay? so. And we'll just, maybe your sales order numbers are six digits long, so that helps you uh, do that. And we'll call this just barcode one. 
just as a nickname. Uh, you can specify the height that you want the barcode and the width. We'll make it like two and a half inches wide. Uh, you can specify a font to be used um, above uh, or below the barcode and you can align that text for the barcode value you know center left or right under the barcode just in case you need to kinda tweak that a little bit um, so here we've got the barcode added um, now let's uh, go ahead and just maybe move some of these things down okay and then let's go ahead and just add an image and we'll browse out for that image I've got one staged here for us. Okay, we'll do the, of course we're going to do the lovely AccuWare logo um, and we'll call this just like logo as the name and we'll just make this 750 dots wide. I, I just happen to know that's going to map out to roughly the width of my label uh, so we'll just get that put on there okay so we got a logo now any of these fields just so you know um, we're doing a 4x3 example here if you were doing a 4x6 label and you wanted it to print like landscaped we don't flip it on its side but what we do is we at this stage have you design it uh, exactly the way it physically is when it's going to print so for example if we want to turn this field uh, to be landscaped for like a landscaped 4x6 label then you just select that angle okay and you can turn it sideways and then you would move it like if you wanted this at the top of the landscape 4x6 you'd move it there okay so you can um, you can orient the barcode as well um, and the image the logo so everything here can be turned 90 degrees if it needs to be uh, to handle landscape um, situations so but at this point point our designer does it true to the way it physically would be dispensing out of the printer so if this is a four by uh, three label that means that the perforation is right across here and it's four inches long as a perf and if I were to press feed three inches of material would feed out okay uh, so let's just go ahead and save this design okay well, I'm gonna put it in my uh, templates folder here and we'll call it like um, demo so2 okay so that's the name of our template and it just creates an XML file uh, that has everything the characteristics of our label in there so uh, let's go ahead and just um, set this up now just so you can see what test print does because I think test printing is important during the design phase so you know you got a label you want to test print it so you could just send it over to the printer right away and just see, okay, you know, that's how it looks. You know, let's go ahead and just maybe move this and we'll save it. Okay, test print. Okay, so as you're designing, you can, you can move things around, make it look perfect, uh, save the design uh, when you're done. Uh, so that kind of shows you here on the left all the fields we've added uh, with the nicknames that we gave them, you know, kind of a, a, a name for you to refer to so you understand each field's names, the field type, and then the data source that's going to go, you know, into that particular location um, on the label. So, um, and then if you need to edit, you can edit from here as well, or you can remove the field here uh, just as, you know, you can also delete or edit here. So. Um, all right, so let's go ahead now and show you now that we've got this sales order uh, demo two label again designed for use with sales orders. We'll close the designer and we'll say get order. Okay, it stores the printer that you've been using, so you don't have to keep selecting that. We're very conscious of reducing steps in the workflow here. So, um, and if you want to select the label, uh, let's see, right? No, wait a minute. Now it's demo. Okay, demo, let's see, AccuWare, did I put it in here? I did, okay. Open that. So we, we've got that now latched for use with our system here. So again, it'll it'll keep that attached for the sales order usage and the printer usage. So you don't have to select these things over and over. You just put your order in, say get order, and print the label. So in this case, we'll just print five labels for this second item. Okay, um, 
just reset this because we did change the label and print that. So it did five labels there uh, for uh, item number uh, 1500 PM. You saw I moved that to the middle at the end there. We put the description below it. Uh, we made a barcode value of the sales order number and then we got our logo. Uh, so this kind of shows you end to end from designing uh, to you know entering a sales order and printing and using the template um, once you have it most people they design one template or two and they're just using that forever so all you ever really have to do when you're printing is just put your order number in and press print put your order number in and press print you can you know edit some things for quantities and select and unselect items here if you need to anyway good uh, overview for you here on the label designer hope this helps you out in getting started with label connector for quickbooks thanks